Hey guys, it's Rachel here and today I'm starting a new series that I think will be really fun. Every week I'm going to showcase a book that I believe is underrated and that I have barely seen any um, coverage at all on booktube, if I've even seen any coverage on booktube. The book that I'm going to show you guys today, I have absolutely no um, idea if it's on booktube. I have not seen any kind of reviews on it. I've never even heard of mention of the author. Um, so I'm really excited to show this book. But yeah, if you think this is a good idea, please let me know because I really, I thought this would be fun because you know we get into that thing where we watch booktube videos all the time and we see the same books over and over and over again and sometimes it's kind of nice to find something new. So today's book I'm going to be showing you guys is going to be Hater by David Moody. I have not seen any talk of David Moody on the booktubes, um, so I'm really excited to be showcasing this book today. Um, there is it's a trilogy. There's going to be Hater, Dog Blood, and Them or Us. These books, I do not think that these are YA in the least. These are pretty adult and pretty intense. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and put that as a disclaimer right now. These are not children-ish books. I think you should be pretty mature if you're going to want to read these. This story is pretty pretty insane. If I can compare it to anything, I would think of the movies 28 Weeks Later or 28 Days Later. Those are pretty close. Um, Close-ish if you want to, you know, compare it to something. This story follows a guy. They, he is just goes about his life every single day he has a wife he has a kid he's got like a dead-end job doesn't have any money he is so frustrated with his life and then one day they start seeing these news reports and there are people just going crazy they are attacking other people for no reason whatsoever other than just to attack them and no matter what they do to try to pull these people off of them, do whatever they can, they just won't stop attacking them. So they quarantine the entire city. They probably pretty much put tell everybody, stay in your house, stay in your homes, don't don't leave, and you'll be safe. This book is so intense. I can't even I can't even explain it. Um, the entire book is so it goes so slowly up until the very end where it starts to really explain what is going on as far as these haters go. This book is so intense for the fact that one day you can be with your family fine, no problems whatsoever, and then the next day become a hater yourself and start attacking other people. And then by the end of the book, you don't know who's a hater, who's not a hater. Everyone's kind of fleeing, trying to get away from themselves. They're all quarantined in their homes, but one, like I said, one day they're a hater, one day they're not. And this is the story of this man and how he deals with it. It's really, really crazy. This one is up telling, this hater itself is talking about what happens, how these people have changed from becoming normal to becoming haters, and um, that's what hater is about. Them or Us is the second book in the trilogy. Them or Us is when everybody's already been separated and you're trying, there is one half of the city has got all the haters in it and the other half has got all the normal people in it. And it kind of like develops more into what is happening. And the, gu the guy is still in the story and he is looking for something that he has lost. And the third book, Dog Blood, is probably the most depressing of the entire story it's telling of the guy he's broken he has nothing left to live for he has lost everything and now he just wants to be left alone to his own devices i really really recommend these if you like um gory detailed dark stories they're not zombies which is why I say I compare it to 28 Weeks Later and 28 Days Later because they are not zombies either. Um, it's pretty intense though. Even the cover is like it's got blood splatter over it. I love the covers to these books, especially for Them or Us. But 
I really recommend these again if you like that type of story and you think that you would enjoy it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and next week I will be bringing you guys another underrated story that I think that you guys would really enjoy. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing and I will see you guys next week. Bye.